Let's take a look on to the next chapter, which is Git reset. Until now, whatever we have learned, we were keep on adding new file, new changes to our GitHub repository. But it happens quite often that a developer makes a mistake and he wants to undo his changes. So to undo the changes, there is a command in a Git, which is a Git reset, which can be used with the multiple flags. So there are three types of Git reset, which you can do. One is soft, one is mixed, and one is hard. So let's take a look on all the three types of a git reset. Let's take a look on to the example which we are going to cover for our git reset chapter. And this example really going to help you to understand all the three flags, which is soft, mixed and hard git reset. So here you can see uh, onto the screen uh, that this is my GitHub repository. And in this GitHub repository, I have added uh, five file. So these five files are sequentially I have added. So first I have added a feature one, then dot txt, then I have added feature two dot txt, then feature three and feature four and feature five. And for each file, there is a separate commit. So here you can see the git history uh, of all the five file. So now we are going to take this as a base example and then we are going to understand how we can perform a git reset so that it's easy for you to identify which of the file which we are aiming to undo or reset our git let's take first example of our git reset is git reset mixed because this is the most commonly used git reset command when a developer wants to undo their changes all right so what is the file or what are the file which we are going to undo or reset so here onto the screen on the right hand side you can see the git commit history and here you can see there are two commits which i have done and those commits are for feature file 5 and feature file number 4 so here on the left hand side you can see this is my visual studio code where my code repository is pre present and here from this code repository i want to undo or get rid of these file number four and file number five which is for feature uh, four and feature five and on the right hand side you can see this is our git git commit history uh, with the git commit hash which is available over here so first we are going to see the git reset command using the mixed flag and one thing to key uh, remember over here is if you don't specify any flag so if you don't specify this mixed flag while using the git reset command and if you simply run the git reset command then the default mode is always mixed whether you specify or do not specify the default mode is always going to be a mixed mode all right, so let's take this uh, uh, git reset command into the action. So I'll jump to the terminal and I'll show you how we can run this particular command. Here is my terminal. And first thing, before we uh, use the git reset command, we need to know the commit hash of our all the previous five commit hash for all the five files. To do that, the uh, most useful command which I would like to use over here is git log one line. This will give you all the commit hash along with the commit messages which we have used for all, all of our five files. Here you can see these are the commit hash in the yellow color which you can see which has been highlighted and these are the commit hash for all the five files. Okay. Now we need to uh, undo our change and get rid of this particular commit hash which belongs to file number five. And now we need to reset our hat uh, to file number four which is to this particular commit hash so what we need to carefully notice over here is to look for the commit hash where you want to roll back so here in my case i want to jump from file number five to file number four over here so i need to know the commit hash of my file number four which is this one okay so here i'm going to run the command which is git uh, reset mixed and after that the commit hash which is this one which is of our file number four for our feature number four and here i need to hit enter and here you can see if i'm going to run the git status command then it is going to show me which file it is going to uh, remove or which uh, commit hash it is going to remove so as soon as i run the git status command then here you can see the feature file number five is going to be removed or that the step which it is going to undo.
Now, after it has done the reset and now your uh, head should point to uh, file number four. So to do that, you can again run the command, which is git. Uh, let me clear the screen, the git log one line. And here you can see now the head is pointing to the feature number four or the feature file number four over here. And since we have already done the reset and the git status shows that it is going to delete the file number five, then now we can run the git push command. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to run the git push command. So here you can just simply type git push and hit enter. And now it is going to reset everything. Now after it has done the reset and now what we need to do is what we need to push our changes. But here the normal push will not work because your head is reset and your head is pointing to the feature file number four. And now we want to get rid of our feature file number five. So if you try to issue the git push command, then it will reject because there is a difference between the version of your main file, main repository and your local repository. Uh, let me show you over here. So here you can see this is my GitHub repository. And in this GitHub repository, if you take a look, then this file is still exists. But in uh, your local GitHub repository, which you have cloned, there this file is not existing. So that's a difference uh, which Git will notice eventually when you are trying to run the git push command. I can show you that one also over here. So let's uh, clear the screen and try to run the git push command over here. And as soon as you will push this particular uh, file or change, then it will reject because there is a difference on your local file uh, on your local github repository you, your file number 5 doesn't exist but on github repository it exists so what we need to do is we need to force pull, forcefully push these changes because we are trying to reset the commit history on the main branch okay so i'll clear the screen over here and then we are going to run the git push with the flag f f is standing for force over here and then hit enter and now it is going to uh, push our changes and it is going to reset all the history of our git commit onto our main branch. So if you take a look over here, if I refresh this one, then here you can see uh, the file number five is gone. And now we have one, two, three, four and five file, uh, one, two, three and four files over here. And similarly in the commits, if you see over here, then you only have the commits for five, three, two and one and the commit of file number five is gone. So this is the first way uh, which you can use the git reset command uh, to push your changes. Now let's talk about the git reset using the soft flag. So as soon as you run the git reset using the soft flag, then your file which you are planning to, or uh, the commit which you are planning to reset will be in the staging area. I know it sounds very complicated, but let's take a look onto our example. So in the previous example, we get rid of feature number five and now we want to get rid of feature number four using the git reset soft flag so here you can see the next thing which we want to remove is this particular commit which is associated with the feature four and this is the commit hash for that particular feature number four and this is the commit message which you can see but as soon as you use the git reset using the soft flag, then that particular file will always be available into your staging area. So that I will, I'm going to show to you. Let me reopen that this particular sli slide over here. So the particular feature number four will always be there into the staging area, but how to identify it? So let's take a look onto my terminal now. So as usual, first take a look onto the commit hash using the command git log one line. And here you can see all the commit hash uh, of my current repository. So here you can see the recent hash is this one, which is for our feature four. And now I want to reset to the feature number three for this particular commit. So I'm going to use the command git reset and after that i'm going to use the flag which is soft and after that i'm going to put the commit hash which is this one and hit enter 
And as soon as you run this command, then you can run the command git status. And here you will see that uh, this feature file is uh, like feature number four is ready to be removed because we are undoing that particular commit. But take a look at the color of this particular file. It is in green, which means uh, like this file is we don't need to explicitly add this particular file using the git add command. But in the previous example where we have used the git reset using the mixed flag, then the color of this particular file was red, which means we need to explicitly add that file back uh, if you want to reuse that particular file. So the color difference between this red and the green is if it's a green, then it is into staging area. And if it is in red, then it is not into staging area. It, it is in unstaged area. So that's the key difference when you are trying to work with the git uh, so reset soft flag and git reset mixed flag. Okay, so if you want to continue further and if you still want to push this particular change using the git reset soft, then you can use the, again the git push force command. So here I'm going to use git push and followed with the F and then hit enter. And this is going to force push this particular change. And now we should get rid of our file number four from our GitHub repository. So here, if you take a look onto my GitHub repository, if I go to here, and here you can see the files is now available is one, two, and three. And now we got rid of our file number four for our feature number four. Now, if you still take a look over here, then if I run the, let me clear the screen and run the command git status, then you will still see that our file is still present into the staging area. Although I have done the git uh, push using the force command, but this file is still stay in present into the staging area. And I don't need to add any, uh, any of these particular file. I can simply write the git commit message. I can commit this particular file and I, I can, I should be able to push this particular file. So I just wanted to show you this basic difference uh, when it comes to git uh, reset using the mixed flag and the soft flag. The next change which we are going to take a look is git reset using hard. Now let's take a look onto the git reset hard and this is a bit dangerous command. If you run the git reset hard command then you're going to lose all of your history and there is no turning back. So there will not be any staging area, but you are just going to remove everything. Okay, so let's take a look how we can do that. So previously we have removed the feature uh, number five, feature number four using the git mixed and git uh, soft reset. Now let's take a look onto the feature number three and get rid with, with using our git reset hard command. So to do that, again, let's get back to our terminal. I, I'm going to clear the screen and run the command git log one line. And here we want to get rid of this particular feature. So let's find the commit hash of the previous commit, which is our feature number two. So let's try to copy this particular hash code over here. And then the command should be git reset using hard and the commit hash and then hit enter. And as soon as you see over here, then the feet, uh, our commit uh, had point is pointing to the feature number two over here. So let's take a look onto the git status over here. And here you can see you have just lose the file, which is your feature number three. Okay. And if you take a look onto the git log, and if you run the command git log one line, then your head is pointing to the feature number two. So as you can see, this is really a dangerous command because we are trying to get rid of the feature number three and we just got rid of feature number three and there is no staging area right now and where you can see your file. There is no file which is looking in the red or green. It is completely gone. And after you reset uh, your uh, git, com uh, git commit using the hard flag, the only thing which you can do is you can run the command git push with the uh, flag force and then hit enter and then it will reset everything and all the commits will go back to the feature number two because we have removed the feature number three using the hard reset so let's take a look onto the uh, github repository so here you can see i have not refreshed it and here the files are present one two and three and now let me refresh it 
and then here, here you can see the file one and two are present and if you take a look onto the commits then here also all the commit history is gone for our file number three and we have already removed the uh, commit history of four, five and four previously but with the hard reset we have removed the feature number three as well and now it is uh, gone back to our feature number two so that's how you can use the git reset uh, using three flags which is your mixed hard and uh, soft